Apricots and carriages. The hunchy chap kombucha, that's what you're talking about. Hello. My name is Myla, nice to meet you. I'm here to prepare you the first course, which is called Lime Groove, and it is a mousse, a cocktail that you can actually eat. We are technically freezing the meringue in the liquid nitrogen, which is minus 194 to 96 degrees. We finish your meringue with a dusting of Japanese matcha green tea. Also, I suggest not to wait for each other because otherwise it can start to get melted. And to have it in one go. Thank you. I'm spraying lime essence in the air. How do you make sense? You have any of this? I make another meringue for you, madam. Because this one is made. Another one, if you like. And the Queen Mary, 1685. This is your second course. It is a beetroot macaroon, which is filled with horseradish and mascarpone cream. Being a finger food, is everything one day. Thank you very much. I hope you understand. We took inspiration by three of these things, which are least and Pomery mustard ice cream. Still a flavour bearing from Heston as the red cabbage when you buy the lid on its straw and it's quite a peppery note, which is from the mustard oil and the mustard seeds have the same thing. Thank you so much. Thank you. These are still uh, part of the flurry of pork, so the first part of the menu. Uh, here we have a dish that really represents uh, Chef Pesto and our ethos, which is uh, question everything. We have uh, orange and then beetroot jellies. May I suggest you to start with the orange? Thank you. So, as you can see from the centerpiece, we are now into the forest and in front of you there are different layers and textures of earthy and umami flavors and starting from your white bowl, on the top there is a chicken liver parfait with the langoustine cream, jelly of quail and the pea mousse at the bottom and instead into your wooden board there's a truffle toast that will give you crunchiness. Now Aston ask you how do you taste or smell and the answer is in the plastic box in front of you that if you can please now take the box and open it from the top you will find a little strip inside so inside there is a strip 
that if you can pick, uh, please put now on the top of your tongue, your mouth will start to spread with this woody flavor because the strip it's made with oak essence. We usually smell the oak from the wood itself or from the wine as well, but tasting it, it's <laughs> what are you literally doing now? And as soon as you are tasting the wood, as the oak essence, the smell will come out from the centerpiece. And let's bring back all your memories of a nice stroll into the woods with the mist of the day, the smell of the moss, the crunching leaves under your foot and the smell of the rain outside as well mate. It's part to the process and uh, we suggest you to have a full spoon of uh, your white bowl down to the bottom and then alternate it with a bite of the truffle toast. Bread and butter. This is our sourdough bread. The main flour used to make it. It's called burnt wheat. It is a um, flour from Italy. If you're more interested about the story of the bread, there is a page in the booklet. At the same page of the snake porridge, there is a story of the bread. But butter is double cream butter. This is a very iconic dish. It's the snail porridge. It's parsley infused porridge in garlic butter braised snails and a little fennel salad on the top. Garlic <laughs> garlic chicken bouillon and a fennel salad. Yes. So there are no snails for your dish and there are some Giro mushrooms. <laughs> So how did you find these yeah. different textures? I think I a white bowl yeah. or it's a famous. Now we are moving to the seaside. It's time for ice cream. Crab ice cream with passion fruit jelly and red pepper. Yeah. Pick with your finger and eat in one bite. Okay. And the chocolate flake. Yeah. For yourself, we have a tomato sauce. The <laughs> sound of the sea. So we have a dish that incorporates the crashing of waves and seagulls to enhance the flavour of the dish. So we won't explain the dish now, we'll explain it afterwards. It's about listening to those headphones and I hope it takes you back to a lovely seaside memory. Okay. Yeah, I will change the shell as well so you can listen to the crashing waves. Uh, the seafoam is made with some vegetable stock. The uh, corn cucumber is a very salt and the seaweed. Salty water. Of course, we now going to celebrate our 25th anniversary with the proper coronation feast on the table. So, with inspiration of some of the colors that were served at this banquet, what we have for you, madam, is a fillet of Irish beef, smoked anchovies on the top, raised oxen with mushroom ketchup, 
and white onion flavor. <laughs> For dessert, what we have is a turbot with osseous chocolate on top, very jellies, which is first press of very acidic grapes, cherry vinaigrette, and oyster. And because this is the banquet, it can be a little bit of a on table because we're going to bring some sides as well. So this is the salad magandhi, uh, layered salad, uh, presented as well during the coronation feast. And there were 300 and different recipes of this salad. You will find the jiro mushroom with pickle apple, onion gel, and white and red capers. And instead uh, for the beef, there's even sweet bread with bone marrow and cover on the top and truffle emulsion at the bottom. <laughs> Very distracting. I want you to know. Well, that's good from your school. So that's the reason why we have the lines. Okay. 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 An unusual uh, Mr. Lee. This a crab ice cream. And then uh, the next course has been inspired by the bad time. That's why we dim the lights and we are getting ready for bed. Uh, if you smell the coffee, you might gonna recognize the smell. Now to remind you the flavors of a hot drink before going to bed, you are most burning with the burnt milk ice cream. This is your, uh, your counting sheep um, with your coconut ice cream and then a mousse made with vanilla um, and tonkabine, earl grey and lavender with the yogurt and then some bergamot and sweet and pistachio. And these are the menu for your next course. If you, if you smell the menu, uh, you can smell the sweet shop. And this is the last part of your experience and Rustin loves to feel himself like a kid in a sweet shop and this is a miniature of the restaurant where I you seated it so you can have a look inside so this is uh, the sweet shop and inside you will find you And all the same for you as well, sir. Yes, I was.